What's up, how's it going everybody? All right, so it's redding and it's summer is here. It instantly went from like fall to summer overnight. But uh, I'm out here and I got the, uh, the array all wired up and running. Um, I had a few half days. I had a bunch of crazy stuff going on lately and bad weather and really just struggling to get caught back up. But we did it, the last thing that I had to get done from December and I'm only about two months behind, but not too bad. But let me show you what we caught and then I'll take you back in the power room. All right, this is just gonna kind of be a quick overview. Um, this is really just kind of a standard ground mount system. It's Iron Ridge uh, rails. It's the, uh, the Solar World 295 modules. Uh, this is off grid. Right now I'm running strings of three. I wanted to see the difference of the voltage drop and I'm playing with some other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna probably wind up kicking this to strings of four later. Um, but kind of what I just want to show you guys is just really the infrastructure that we're doing. Um, I ran the MNPV12 on this job. This is the first time really using that. I normally do the MNPV6, so it has all of the, uh, the string breakers in there. And then all of the, uh, the wiring was done in electrical conduit. I know it could be just zip tied to the, to the rails. That's standard MO for a lot of people, but I prefer to do it this way because um, I can bend pipe. But uh, the EMT just comes in and then we switch it off to a HACO gland and then kick all the PV wires out of it. Um, and I just kind of feel that I, when I build these systems, one of the main things I'm going for is just always keeping everything up tight and clean. Um, I'm not too sure what happened here. I think somehow or another I got two batches of panels uh, because some of the wires were a little different configuration of how they, how they went up wiring up. It was kind of trippy. But um, another thing I like to do to, to really keep these clean is um, these right here. Uh, these are PV clips uh, from Wiley. They're four wires. Uh, this really allows me to keep my ground mount super clean and also color coding everything keeps it even even easier to understand and what I did like on the right hand side the negatives are black the left hand side the negatives are white because I had a couple instances where I had both strings coming out like in this row this side is uh, string A the left charge controller this is actually the right controller string B and so that's why we have some different some different color wires coming out there to really help it and keep it easy to identify what's going on but um, all in all I mean it's pretty standard ground mount um, I would say this is really on the hardcore side of commercial for residential of what we got going on uh, it's just the way that I like to do it it keeps it not boring and monotonous I got a, a ground on the, the pipe structure also and uh, everything turned out super clean and really nice let's go run in the power room and I'll give you guys a two-second overview we've been in there before all right here you go you guys remember this room this is still one of my favorite systems that I've done so far uh, we really haven't changed anything at all he's just lived off of it we had kind of a little temporary and he lived off generator a fair amount um, with the 1.5k of PV he had in the generator. He made it by, he could have, uh, you know, he could have used the solar sooner, but it's just the way shit works. Uh, but basically right now we got both the controllers running, we're almost full, uh, running pretty darn close to each other. Uh, I gotta come back, I had to, uh, I gotta fix one cable for the follow me to get that hooked up. Um, and then we were talking, I think we're gonna potentially so adding the, uh, the other six batteries, so this will have uh, 12 of them all together, which is going to be a healthy, healthy stack, and it's really going to let this off-grid house, man, this thing's going to be freaking going awesome. Do it with doing that. The one other thing we're going to do is put a wind turbine in here, and I got plenty of room to put a little gutter and two more controllers with a dump load up above. That was kind of the plan all along, but man, I love, I love when power rooms are done and they look amazing. So maybe I'll come back and give you guys a better overview with the mics when I'm done, done.